Now let's talk tough. Tough is what you need to line walls in a workshop. And what is tougher than diamond tread plate? That's the aluminum material that uh, has a diamond pattern you see on semis and toolboxes and stuff like that. We have it in 12 inch squares with a cell stick backing and we are using it here for a wainscot. Process for putting this stuff on the wall, take off this sticky paper. This is like one big fly trap right here. Very, very sticky. Once I peel the paper off, I set it on the wall, line it up, get it where I want it, and then stick it on. And we're happy. You just give it a few taps, push it on a little bit, move on to the next one. You want to be very careful when you're putting these on. Kind of set your corners, line them up. If you stick it, you got to take it off. It's a drag. We found that out the hard way. Here's an example of how sticky these tiles really, really are. We had to take this one off to reposition it. And you can see here it took off not only a little bit of the paint, but also some of the um, joint tape, the joint compound, and even a little bit of the paper on the drywall. So when you're sticking these, you want to be sure they're right where you want them before you really press them down. This could be compared to almost setting tile on a wall, but with this, you have no grout joints. You don't have any room for an adjustment. So you got to start out very square, very level, and if you do that, it should go just fine. Well, we're working with a couple different colors here. First, we have our liquid silver, which will be the bottom two rows, and that'll give you your classic diamond plate look. And then we're going to alternate the silver with some of this diesel black on the top two courses for this checkerboard pattern. And this material comes in a whole bunch of different colors, so it's really easy to add this decorative look, as well as a good layer of protection. Officially, it's a sixteenth of an inch thick, and it's real commercial-grade diamond plate. Not like some imitation stamp metal that you might have seen before. Now, being aluminum, it's not going to rust, rot, or corrode. It's resistant to chemicals, grease, and oil. And if you make a mess, it's really easy to wipe clean. If you get to a point where you need to cut a tile or two, you can use just about any power saw with a metal cutting blade. But as always, eye and ear protection are strongly recommended. Now we have this on the walls, but you can also use it on the floor. And you might think that this shiny aluminum surface is going to be slippery once it gets wet, but actually the diamond plate is a naturally non-skid surface, which is exactly why they use it on stair treads on trucks and buses for safety purposes. So it's a good tough surface for floors and walls. There's no setup time or dry time involved. Just peel and stick and you've got yourself instant diamond plate protection. So it's looking really good, bud. We want something that's tough, durable, about laminate you can belt sand it, describe it so you get a nice tight fit along the backsplash like this. Once you have the right overhang, it's just a matter of screwing through the cabinet into the substrate. Make sure you don't use too long a screw. It comes right through the top, and then you look like a real knucklehead, right, Judd? I know that feeling. Wrap things up. Hope you'll join us for that. For the Home Time Crew, I'm Dean Johnson. Thanks for watching. <laughs>